Hey everyone, uh, we're going to be working on uh, Project F's engine here. Uh, when the last episode, the what we did, and there's a couple things that we overlooked, um, mainly the oiling uh, hole back here. Uh, I'll, it looks kind of rough, but I'll explain it. Uh, also, the uh, water pump cover, the oil uh, filter extension arm uh, gasket, and the rear main. Uh, needed some addressing so basically in the video we explained that there's an oiling hole in that area where the balancer shaft used to be um, with it being removed with the double timing chain um, the oiling hole is a, is open so what people do is uh, fill it up so basically you have a couple options you can drill and tap the hole with a screw uh, you can weld it. Uh, you can also take the bearing that's in there and flip it 180 degrees, which will cover it. What I ended up doing is I took the balancer shaft, uh, the old one, um, I might have to look for it. Took the old balancer shaft, cut it, uh, cooled it down, and then tapped it in there with some RTV. So it should completely block off that um, oiling hole now. We shouldn't have to worry about that to get there. I did have to remove the rear cover and uh, we didn't have the proper gasket for it so I thought since we're going to be taking it off I might as well buy the correct gaskets for it. Uh, we were just using RTV before and I'm not 100% familiar with you know the channels and coolant stuff and oil whatever you know goes through here so I didn't want to block up anything unintentionally. Bought the uh, correct gaskets off of ZZP and I also picked up the water pump uh, gasket and I also picked up the oil filter extension gasket. So um, I'm just gonna be doing a quick little video here. I'm gonna be taking off the water pump, cleaning it up, the um, RTV that we used. I'm going to be taking this. We didn't put any gasket on here because this is temporary. Um, the one that is coming off the Camaro will be placed here. We just put that there for painting. Um, and then the rear main cover as well. Uh, I'm going to clean up all the RTV that we had on it and then also uh, another thing that wasn't mentioned is the oil pan here won't be used. Um, the oil pan from the Camaro will be used. It'll just be a lot uh, better clearance. But otherwise we taped up everything else on the engine. Uh, it's pretty much ready for painting. So that's what we're going to do probably this weekend. Um, so I'm going to start working on this and uh, please enjoy. So here's the balancer shaft uh, that we had to remove and I cut up at the end. You can see that the end is missing. That's what I placed in the uh, uh, that area there with the bearing um, to plug up the um, oiling hole. You can see it no longer needed. Basically just took a metal um, sawzall and just cut it off. It's pretty easy. And then another big thing that we missed and we're going to have to take off the whole front and the timing chain again is this thing right here. So you can see on the old timing chain, there's a magnet. This magnet is for the cam position sensor. And uh, I guess we just forgot to put it on there. The one uh, that we got new doesn't come with it. So we're gonna have to remove it from here and place it in the uh, new one. So this is crucial for the cam position sensor to operate and uh, something that we just have to do. So um, we did miss it on the first or the last episode. Um, so it's something you have to do. So just got the uh, back cover all cleaned up. I got all the uh, RTV off of it. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit more. Um, did it with the, just a little bit of air grinder and sand bit. Took off all the RTV. Um, I'm probably gonna have to be a bit more delicate with the water pump because I don't wanna get any you know, dust or anything in there. So I might just use a uh, razor blade or something. <clears throat> uh, but just got that off. Now it's basically ready to go back on. Uh, with the new gasket uh, to cover up uh, the uh, rear main. So uh, got all that done there. Um, I'll show you once I have some more progress on the water pump. So the uh, back of the block is pretty clean uh, of all the RTV. Most of it was just on the rear cover here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put on the cover, uh, put it back there, and then get one of these uh, bolts to hold it in and then uh, work with it. Basically, since we have it on, the engine mount, uh, it's 
pretty hard to get to all of them. I guess it's not hard, it's just time consuming. So I have to get to every single one, just not a lot of clearance. But uh, I'm going to snake this up through the bottom and then uh, get a bolt through and start working on the rest of them. So I got uh, a couple of the bolts in. So one at the bottom, or sorry, one at the top, and then two on the bottoms, one on the side there. Um, it has to fit over the uh, output of the crank. So once you get it lined up and you get some bolts lined up with the gaskets and everything and thread it in a little bit, I just took a rubber mallet and tapped the bottom and push a little bit until it's seated on the crank. Now that I have those bolts in, everything's lined up, I'm gonna start uh, tightening everything down. So these are all 10 millimeters. Uh, basically, I just got them all threaded in and I'm going to be tightening some take a little bit of reach to get to. I might not exactly be able to get my full hand in there, but I should at least be able to get this wrench in. Um, I'm not sure of any type of torque specs for this. I'm just gonna do it hand tight. I'm not gonna do it any more than that. So I got the uh, rear cover back on. Uh, just took a little bit, uh, especially with the clearance that we have here. Now all that needs to be done is to take off the oil pump and uh, clean up the RTV and put the new gasket on. Uh, we could also just not do that <clears throat> to take off the whole front cover to get to the timing chain. I uh, haven't exactly decided what I want to do yet. I might just take it off. I'm not sure if the bolts that hold these on are required to uh, or bolt it to the engine. Uh, so if we can just remove this whole cover as one big kind of unit, that'd be ideal. So I'm going to start working on that and uh, update you once I have some more progress. So I was able to take the water pump off with uh, not much trouble. Uh, most of the RTV is uh, on the actual water pump here, so it'll be easy to take that off. I'll just take a razor and clean up the surface and then uh, take off the remaining bolts and pull the front cover off so we can get to the timing chain and get that um, magnet that I mentioned right there. Let me get that magnet in. Uh, so I'm gonna start pulling off these and uh, taking off the front cover. We were missing a bolt as well, and the front cover does have different bolt sizes. So this is a half inch actually, and I believe those are 10 mils. So it's gonna swap there. We're missing a bolt right there. Tristan was running into the same thing. The bolts get stuck in the socket. So let me get that out. Last piece of the puzzle is the one that goes into the oil pan. It's the last bit that's uh, holding it up. These all, all are very specific sizes too for each hole, so I actually might want to leave those in just so we know where it goes where in the future because we did have trouble with that. So let me get this pulled off. All right, so I got the front cover pulled off. There was actually a few more you can see right here. There's one there, 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 and there. Uh, so there are a couple more bolts at the bottom that I had to take out. Otherwise, everything is uh, removed from the front. I just put these bolts back where they went so we know exactly where they go. So basically, and there's uh, on the back of this, which is, you know, so, so convenient. Uh, it shows us where we need to put the magnet for the cam phaser sensor. So uh, what we'll have to do, I'm probably not going to do today. Uh, this weekend, we'll just go through it real quick. We're going to get this to top dead center so the dot and the zero need to line up. <clears throat> so, it's, so it's easy. Remove the cam bolt and then uh, pry this off, get the magnet in whichever hole it needs to go to, and then put it back on, put everything back on. Uh, and then put it all together and then it's ready for paint. At that point, we've got pretty much everything done that needs to be done to this engine uh, other than the accessories. Um, so once we have everything set, um, it should be ready to go in the car. So we're planning on actually getting the Camaro over some point soon to get um, stripped down and so we can take the engine out of it. So um, I'm going to just last bit today, clean this up and then put it on the front cover and uh, 
see if I'm able to put it on um, right now. So we can just put it on as a full unit. So let me get start working on that. All right, uh, got everything finished up with the water pump. I went ahead and put it on the uh, front cover, just the bolts that hold it onto it. Got the new gasket on, everything cleaned up. So at this point, we've pretty much fixed everything but the magnet on the um, timing belt. Basically, that gear needs it for the uh, the cam phase or the cam sensor. Just need to put the magnet in from the old one on that. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that today. Next episode, that's what we'll be doing. We'll be taking the cam off, <clears throat> or I'm sorry, the the pulley off, and then placing the magnet, putting it back on, and then basically bringing it back to what it was before and painting it. So once everything painted, we'll be able to uh, start with the rest of the, the teardown of the actual Camaro. So uh, you should be seeing some content of that it's pretty soon. Uh, we'll be bringing the Camaro over here and um, tearing it out and getting the engine out so we can get this engine finally in. So uh, thanks for watching.